Some Godfrey. You are watching. I'll just Bee lean music. back in. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. You are watching B Music. <laughs> We're D Mob Happy. D Mob Happy. Uh, D Mob Happy. It's good. Yeah. It's but good not the letter D, then Mob. Mm. D E M O B. We are not the Mob. It's good We're to not know. the Mob. Yeah. Demob happy is defined in the dictionary as a feeling of elation after a period of hardship. And these guys have every reason to be chuffed for themselves. You've just released your first album, Dream mm. Soda. Yeah. How's it all gone? Uh, it's gone very well. It's been really nice. It's been a crazy week. Yeah, people have bought the album, which is amazing. Yeah, you can't ever really expect people to do it. And then, um, yeah, they did. We, but, you know, not in their droves. It's not like we've hit number one spot or anything. No, but people people, <laughs> people are enjoying it, they've bought it, which is... A start. Which, yeah, it's great. Yeah. It is a start. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I think you're, you're playing yourselves down here because you've had rave reviews from Enemy, um, mm. DIY, uh -huh. uh, people like that, Clash as yeah, well. So, yeah. so, and you've been touring relentlessly. Uh -huh. um, so as it, maybe it's just not sunk in yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. I'm over the moon, to be honest. It's really nice to have it finally out and people be digging it. It's, um, it's great. It's nice to just release it finally, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's been it. so long. Yeah, it's been a long process from from conception to uh, to getting it out there. Inception to inception, through conception. inception <laughs> through conception <laughs> to um, what's the final stage? Inception. Uh, but reception. 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 <laughs> yeah. nice. We were talking about this the other day. Yeah, we <laughs> uh, how long? How long has that period been? In? Uh, we started basically on. January like 22nd, I think it was when we went to Wales yeah. to do the pre-production. Yeah. And uh, well, everyone kind of writes you as a Brighton band, but you're not from Brighton. Obviously, you live here now. But uh, where are you all from, and how did you all meet? I'm from Newcastle, and we all met in sixth form in Newcastle, basically as a three. We went to Newcastle College together, and then we met uh, Tom there, the drummer. Right. And then that's basically when we started the band. So that was like 2008. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's uh, seven years we've known each Well, I guess it's a lot, yeah. nearly ten years. And you moved to Brighton. Why move to Brighton? What was for the money. <laughs> yeah. It was all about the money. All about the dollar. Yeah. All about the money. Cause, uh, all about spending more of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we, um, there wasn't enough going on in Newcastle, basically, right. for us. So um, we, we knew we needed to come and be in a scene that would be more kind of supportive than being close at London yeah even though the Newcastle the north has got a lot of great music and bands it's just like there's the the infrastructure's not there for them to be recognized oh, yeah. like it is down here so yeah. it's tactical really we're tacticians cool. at heart and you're kind of uh, well people sort of talk about you as a DIY band uh -huh. is that right what does that mean uh, what do you think it means Alex? it's kind of taking control of the majority of aspects of everything you do just and just taking care with everything that you do, putting, putting all, all your work into it, so whether that be artwork... So you have a lot of creative itself. control then in what's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we signed the record deal in January and they basically mm. a lot of people get told what to do when they sign record deals, but they haven't told us a damn thing. <laughs> we wouldn't let them either, Keep really. doing what you do. They, they yeah. suggest things and we go, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're not going to do that. So we always wanted to be self-sufficient in case nobody ever came along and injected money into us. Yeah. Which was, which is, that's the only difference, the only difference it's made is, is, is given us a larger scope to do with what we're doing already. Yeah. Which is why we released our own music videos and recorded our own stuff. Cool. I thought we'll do it anyway then. Yeah, so I was gonna bring, I was gonna come on to the videos because, I mean, they're hilarious to be honest. No, I mean, you just released your video for Junk DNA, mm -hmm. yeah. which we can't show uh, you the whole thing, but you can go to vivo.com, yeah. search DMOB Happy, Junk DNA is on there, so is a lot of yeah. the other videos. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you all seem to have real uh, good fun doing them. Junk DNA, um, to sort of tell the viewers if they go and watch the video, but it shows you product testing dream soda. Yeah. yeah. Um, drinking a lot uh, with dire consequences. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Got a bit mad. Was it a lot of fun to make that video? Yeah, really fun. Where did you do it? It looks like a bottling plant somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's it uh, factory in the northeast uh, that we we knew we, we could use. So we um, so that, I mean that that was a massive part of like the budget because it looks like it's a dead expensive video and it's not really yeah. because <laughs> uh, because we just got to, like we got that location for free. Cool. Take out his 
And, um, and then there's Young and Numb, which yeah. looks like a cross between Whitnell and I and Nightmare on Elm Street or something. Yeah. <laughs> Where, who, who comes up with these concepts? Is it you guys sit down and come up with them, or is it a label, or what? It's just us. Yeah. It's just our mad brains. <laughs> <laughs> We've worked with a couple of like really good people who make films. Uh, Sam Cook, yeah. okay. who's an old Swiss, and also Jack Cannon. Jack Cannon. Jack, Jack Cannon, who's an old friend of ours. an old friend. Sex form, yeah. Beyond. Right. And um, music, yeah. music videos are so indulgent and boring a lot of the time, I think. Yeah, it's people got, just it's like got a joke around. It's, just, it's like. just a video for some music. It's like, doesn't. But I, no, I mean, that might undermine it a little bit, actually, because the amount of, we put so much thought into Junk DNA, more than we'd ever done to any other videos. Yeah. Like, me and, me and um, Jack Cannon, the director, thrashed out the story like back and forth for like weeks and weeks and weeks, because we knew we wanted to get it like exactly right. Because there's quite a. Quite a a, a big message in there, but also we knew we wanted to just be stupid and funny. <laughs> but so that getting that balance was quite difficult. It took a while, but it's worked. But it worked, hopefully. It yeah, worked. no, it looks great. It looks great. It looks great. Thanks. Um, and like I say, it's on Viva.com if people want to watch it. Yeah, or um, YouTube as well. Or it's YouTube. On YouTube. It's on YouTube as well now, brilliant. It's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, let's talk about your sound. It's unmistakably grungy. Mm. Um, people are making obvious comparisons with Nirvana. Mm -hmm. It's got that kind of 90s sort of grunge vibe to it. Um, have you set out to recreate this, sort of to revive it in some way? Uh, or did this just evolve from no, the music not, you like? Not at all. Like, it's just, we just play music, and if we like it, we'll keep jamming. Mm -hmm. And then a song will, a song will like, pop out. Mm -hmm. So it's not, we're not, like going, oh, we want this to sound like Nirvana or we want it to sound like that. Yeah. Obviously, subconsciously we might have those influences, but it's it's kind of just we just play what we did. Yeah. We were, you know, like we used to do like more like proggy, proggy ten blues ten rock. minute songs with like with loads of half time stops, and all, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. loads of ridiculous sections, and then, <laughs> and then we. I think the only conscious decision we ever made was to just like write something a bit more kind of palpable. Just more just, just like here's, just a, the here's a here's a here's, song. Here's one idea as opposed to like five <laughs> yeah. in one song. Um, but but people are lapping it up, like I say, Enemy have uh, showcased the uh, the album. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, yeah, people have rave reviews. I mean it, how's that feel to be sort of suddenly hitting that sort of level? It's good man. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? It's good to know that the work we've like put in just getting this done and just just work we've done over the years, like kind of paying off. Yeah. And people are people are listening to it and, and liking it as well. Yeah, okay. that's it, because we've put so much work into that album. Like so much thought and time and effort and love and yeah, that's that's it mostly for me. I, I don't care if it sells anything, it's not really my problem, but it's like just knowing that people are actually listening to it and thinking about it is the best part. One final question though, what does Dream Cider taste like and where can I get some? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it doesn't taste like anything because it doesn't exist. <laughs> what? I know. Those cans that you see in the video we made ourselves, like, we tried to get them made. I've, we went through such a huge... Yeah, we... T we, t we Who made them? How, where did you get these made? Well, we, we, we were going to... Well, just normal cans. Yeah, like, they're just like Coke sticker. cans with a, oh, okay. with a sticker that we put on them. And we tried to do it through like a bottling plant but the minimum order was like what 100,000 yeah you had to get thousands and thousands of cans wow. to the minimum order yeah like, we couldn't find so. anywhere that would do it like a short run because we, we tried as well but the, we went to Wrexham to be fair who bottled like Coca-Cola so they were like yeah 100,000 <laughs> and we was going to be like this is massively expensive so we couldn't do it obviously so what you see is just regular cans with this wrap around them that we designed and stuck on Maybe in the future. Yeah. We just started like in. Uh, it's a very tasty drink, but I, I reckon we. I reckon we could put this in Dream Soda. It's like they're called Rattlers. In the Euro in Europe. In Europe. What are they called in the UK? Uh, Shandies. <laughs> <laughs> but, but since they're called Rattlers, yeah. it's all right. It's yeah, not. Yeah. It doesn't have any of the associations of Shandy. It's just no, simply except flavour. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's simply a refreshing summer drink. Yeah. I think none of the connotations that go yeah, with drinking no. shandy. Yeah, okay. I think that'll be. The I think for dreams, Yeah, though. I think that's what it tastes like. Radlers, Radlers. Shandy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so plans for 2016? Any festivals on the lot? Anything you can tell us about? We're announcing that we're doing. Oh, this is a big exclusive. We're going to do South by Southwest, and so uh, I think we're announcing that in a week or so. Two oh, weeks. Yeah. 
Is, that's what March time next year. March, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so fantastic. Gonna it's going to be so fun. Good I'm stuff. Never been to America. Because you did a great escape this year. Now South by Southwest. Yeah. There's nothing, st nothing stopping you. Yeah, no, no, that's what we always wanted to do. <laughs> Me and Matt are going to get um, get some choppers. <laughs> <laughs> Drive from uh, Austin, to Austin to Boston yeah, on, yeah. Our, on our choppers while everyone else just <laughs> there, they can the van. I did, I, yeah, I did that on Reddit this morning. Well, did, you, did you know Reddit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went on Reddit and I went on the Austin subreddit and I was like, right. um, I'm coming to Texas and I want to <laughs> rent a motorcycle. Can you advise anything? So I'm waiting for replies because yeah. I'm doing it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe don't tell them you're in a rock band. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a license though. So now we've got we've got plenty of time. We've got yeah, like we've got time. six months. I can get one in six months. Yeah, easy. Fine. If you can fit us in bef yeah. before or after, then will you come and do a session with us? Sure. Come and do a B yeah. session. That'd be nice. Yeah, That'll be wicked. Thank yeah. you guys so much. Um, all the best. And, Thank you very uh, much. Appreciate it. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. Awesome.